A very warm good morning to my dear respected teachers, supervisors, and my dear friends. Today, I'm going to talk about a cup. Curiosity is the weak in the candle of learning. Curiosity is the weak in the candle of learning. This woman taught by William Arthur Ward definitely depicts curiosity as a driving force for learning. Akin to a weak that determines how and for how long a candle burns. Curiosity, also called epistemic curiosity, in the context of knowledge acquisition, can be broadly defined as the desire to know or learn something in the absence of extrinsic rewards. That discussions about defining curiosity. Although psychologists have been interested in psychological and biological mechanisms, only fairly recently has it been demonstrated that Greater curiosity is indeed associated with better learning. From a very young age, we have ideas drilled into our heads. But do we ask questions? Yes, sure. Albert Einstein once said that he had no special talents, but he was only passionately curious. Like I said before, curiosity is the desire to know or learn something, to understand new things and to know how they work. Curiosity is the foundation of learning. Without curiosity, Isaac Newton would have never formulated the laws of physics. And Mary Curie would have never researched radioactivity. And the world today would be drastically different. But how does curiosity affect our learning? Curiosity helps our brain remember things that we learned from that point at once. Besides, curiosity leads us to increased activity in the hippocampus, which is a region in the brain involved in the creation of memories, and makes our learning more rewarding. In addition, curiosity opens up our mind to new worlds and possibilities. After all, it takes a curious mind to question the most modern things in our life. Without curiosity, innovation and development would be quite impossible. It is important to question and know everything around you. Like once Indra Gandhi said, the power to question is the basis of all human progress. When curious people fail, they analyze their failure because they are keen on knowing the reasons so that they can do better next time. This increases chances for success. Curious people always ask questions and search for answers. Their minds always are too, since our mind is like a muscle which becomes stronger through continual exercise. The mental exercise caused by curiosity makes our mind stronger and stronger. Thus, curiosity is the weak in the candle of learning. We students should have curiosity to attain the greatest heights of our life. Thank you. Have a nice day.